Among the guests gathered for the state funeral at Westminster Abbey was Monty Roberts. He was this renowned horse trainer mm -hmm. who lives here. Right. But has this great connection to the Queen. And Monty had what more than 30 year friendship with the Queen? That's 33 amazing. 33 years. Wow. And the story is something else, really Let's special. So very few people can say that they are actually friends with Queen Elizabeth II, but Monty Roberts can, and he received a personal invite from the royal family to attend today's final farewell. Roberts owns a ranch in Solvang, where he has become known for his gentle horse training skills. The 87 year old is also the author of the best selling book, The Man Who listens to horses. Well, in 1989, the Queen learned of his talent for taming horses. The two met, and then their unlikely friendship blossomed from there, over the phone, through letters, and in person at her stables. I spoke to Roberts today, soon after he attended Her Majesty's funeral. Well, it was extremely emotional. Um, Windsor Castle has never looked that way to me. There were so many people, and there were a lot of incidences that um, reached into my core, you know, and made me realize how important in my life that 33 years with Queen Elizabeth was. Mm. Well, you might have noticed Robert's pin on his yeah. lapel. It signifies that he is a member of the Victorian order. The queen gave it to him in his honor, in his service to the royal family. It is a knighthood for non-British citizens, and he wears that ever so proudly. We'll have more full interview with Mr. Monty Roberts coming up at 6. Wow, what a special relationship. Yeah, I mean, horses, though, seems to be like kind of the way to her heart. Oh, uh, yeah. for sure, because Monty started a, a nonprofit organization that helps mm -hmm. uh, war veterans, that helps people oh. who deal with uh, child abuse, for instance, and to therapeutic what an amazing guy. therapy for horses. And the queen loves that. Very good. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Marla.